Hey guys, welcome back to another Sea Thieves Guide. Today I'm going to show you the fastest way to sink a ship without using any cannonballs. With this method you'll be able to sink a sloop or a brig in under 2 minutes. As you might be able to guess from looking behind me, this method involves using firebombs instead of the usual cannonballs to sink ships. If you are able to, you should stick to the usual and reliable naval fighting with cannonballs to sink other ships. However, if you ever get yourself stuck in a spot where you don't have your ship for whatever reason, this is definitely the best way to sink an enemy ship. If you enjoy the video, please feel free to like or subscribe, so let's get into it. Most of the time when players try to sink another ship with firebombs, they just chuck them all over the place like this, which doesn't work very well since a lot of these fire spots are on upper deck which doesn't make any holes. Spamming below deck doesn't work either since as soon as one or two holes are made, the fire on the bottom deck is immediately put out, so a mixture of lower and mid deck fire spots is the best way to make holes. It takes about a minute for a spot of fire to make a hole, so you need to defend these spots so that this fire isn't put out by the enemy crew. So on the sloop you're going to want to get fire in this spot for this hole here, and this spot beside it for these two holes here, but it shouldn't matter too much if you only manage to get one of these spots. Then at the back you're going to want to hit this left spot here for these two holes, this middle spot for these two holes, and this right spot for these two holes. The holes at the back matter more. So here's a time lapse of me using this method on the sloop. And for those of you that are wondering, this clip is in times 4 speed. And feel free to skip to the end of this clip if you want to. So as you can see, it takes just a little bit over 1 minute and a half to sink a sloop with this method. On the brig I usually go for two separate spots in the front or middle, but it shouldn't matter too much if you only get one. But in the back you want to go for this spot to make these two holes here, this spot to get these two holes here, and then this spot here to make these two holes here. Here's a time lapse of me using this method on the brig. Feel free to skip ahead again if you want to. So just like the sloop, this takes just over a minute and a half to sink the brig. Unfortunately for the galleon, this strategy isn't as effective as it is for the brig and sloop, since the galleon's mid-deck holes don't leak any water until the water reaches the mid-deck. So you want to try to get one or two lower deck holes, which you'll need to defend until the water reaches the mid-deck, or the galleon will sink pretty much instantly because of how many holes you'll have made before the water reaches the mid-deck. Whenever I've tried this, I can usually only get one lower deck hole, but sometimes you can get lucky with the timing and the two lower deck holes will open up at the same time. So yet again, here is a time lapse of me using this method, but on a galleon this time. Feel free to skip ahead if you want to. So using this method on a galleon will take you around 3 minutes and 20 seconds to sink. It's not amazing, but it's decent for taking down a galleon without using any cannonballs. So that's all for this video guys. Hopefully this method can help you sink other ships without needing your own, or for if you're out of supplies. Good luck, and I'll see you in the next one.